Hey, what's up, Red Carpet Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Nothing fills me with more excitement and glee than my microphone, this one right here. This one right here makes some people very, very angry. It makes them so mad that I actually have people that are willing to listen to what I have to say with this microphone. It makes some people's blood just absolutely boil, and I can't get enough of it. It just actually fuels me. Let's talk about the Bromeo card of the day. Let's actually do, let's do Volo. Let's pick that one, man. Beautiful card. Awesome person in the game. I'm not going to spoil anything too, too much, but this card is great. Honestly, it's just, if you haven't played Legends of Arceus, it's a great game. Last year was the golden era of cards, and this year, we're living in the clown timeline still. We definitely got some issues with Japanese market. The English market seems to be doing a little bit better, but there's still some issues with that. Overall, it seems like things are kind of skewed very heavily towards the Japanese market just being absolutely fucked. And there's really nothing anybody can say about that, especially when it came to singles, but mostly with product being unobtainable at a fair price. You want it? You're paying 125, 130 bucks. Some people say supply demand. Some people say it's the popularity of the set. Some people say Pokemon is just on the up and up right now. But it doesn't matter. There's ultimately things going on. I want to talk about something I saw though. Something that I saw that was kind of not really super cool. In my personal opinion on any person who did it. And it's such a shame because everybody involved is someone that I would consider a good person in the community. They've done good things. They've done stuff. And ultimately, this is just going to be a learning lesson. I just want to kind of highlight this real quick. There was someone today. That was offering a Dendra card up for sale. A Dendra SAR. You know the one that's going for six, seven, eight hundred dollars right now. They were offering up for sale or for trades for gold Skelly or a uh, Skeldy, excuse me, Skelleridge is what they were talking about. They want like to either trade for Skelleridge cards, the SAR or the Golds. Probably a combination since it's so valuable. Or to sell the card. In which case, there was people that were not too, too happy with that. Conversation thread started underneath them. I'm not going to expose their names. If they want to expose themselves in the comment section, that's completely on them. I'm going to keep themselves private because honestly, I don't really think anybody involved in this is truly a bad person. I just think there's a little bit of mix up right here. Someone replied, why sell it though? Because this is the card that a lot of people want from the set. There's a lot of people such as myself that are full art trainer collectors that actually like this card that would love to have in their collection. But unfortunately, I just cannot justify with myself and I'm sure many others dropping $700 for it. If someone can, that's super cool, but uh, like a lot of people that have been collecting Japanese cards for a long fucking time, this is just the clown realm. This is just stuff where it's like, man, I remember back in 2018, 2019, you could get these cards cheaper than their English counterparts in some cases. You could actually get full art trainers that were just way cheaper, and they, they, they could be waifu, they could be gaifu, they could be swinging dick, they could be huge boobs, they could be anything, and you can get them way fucking cheaper. Anybody who's been collecting for a long time, I mean, it's just... People knew that stuff, to which case the original person that puts up the poster here, once again, not going to say who they are, says this one is very beautiful, but I pulled the card I actually wanted. So implying that they're putting this card up for sale. They don't really want this card. They're looking to trade as well in the actual description, as you can see. The person that initially started this comment thread was like, nice, please don't be one of those people asking 100 to 600 for this card. Japanese market is already hurting enough, which... It's a true statement, it really is, but this card does happen to be going for that much, and it, it's consistently selling that much in Japan. Do I think that is correct? Absolutely not. However, it is kind of a circumstance where it's like, well, that is kind of a hard thing to fucking say. I, I get where this person's coming from 100%, but this person wants to move the card purely to fund their collection. I do think that's something that should be noted. In which case, a new person drops in and says, nah, she should charge what it's worth at this point in time. In which case, that would be the five to six hundred bucks. And this kind of started a whole debacle and debate in there where eventually it ended up with them saying, People like you that are hurting the market, this person initially started the conversation saying, Why sell it? People like you are the ones hurting the market slash hobby. If you're in it for money, just say it. Don't put a fake face on for the community. Another person that was saying, Hey, charge for what it's worth. This person was like, Don't make the prices, but when I sell cards, I charge what they're worth. Sorry, not sorry. The person that said sell it then said clown emoji, you know, recycle, all that good shit. And then the person that was saying charge what it's worth at the time said sounds like you're a hater. Not going to lie. Now, I want to bring this up because I'm actually a perfect person to talk about this. I have literally went through this whole spectrum of emotions over the last two years when my cards were actually being hiked up in price. Once again, this has been going on since 2021. And I will not lie to you. I have not always been the best person when it came to talking about specific people or getting at specific people. I was guilty of this. I did this exact same thing. I definitely lashed out at people. And when I look back at it now, 
in all honesty, there were some people that I should not have done that to, where they were just literally trying to sell a card that was worth its price at the time for a collection. Does anybody really think this card should be worth that amount? No. I've talked to several people involved. I've talked to the person that said charge what it's worth. They said, no, it should not be sold for that much, but that's what the market is, and that's what the market... I can kind of understand that, but the person initially on the other side as well who said, why sell it, also has a point. The Japanese market is completely fucked. It is something that is not being helped by people doing these sales. And it's a very gray line where it comes to doing that stuff right now. Look, everyone here has pulled a very expensive card. And I'm sure everyone, myself included, has let some of them go. I have let some cards go for what I paid for it. And I did not charge what it was worth at the time. Because honestly, I didn't feel too great about it. But I have sold cards. I have sold cards for pretty close to what they were worth before. Because it was something that was pulled. I mean, last year... This wasn't a problem, but I guarantee people are pulling the Giratina alt art with very affordable product around and selling it for three to four hundred bucks. It, it happened. That's something that people did. And this is the case of that, too. But the tension between the Japanese market and English people that collected Japanese or anyone really that's been collecting Japanese because the Japanese people themselves are having a very hard time getting their own cards as well. Like it seems like it is far more lucrative. For somebody to take this product and fucking kick it the shit right out of Japan. Because it, you just get more money. You get more sales. There's a market for it. There's people that want that stuff. And it is hurting people that want to collect this stuff. And unfortunately, we have been priced out. Regardless of what anybody wants to say, that is true. That is happening. And I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is. You'll see that here soon. I'm not actually going to open this stuff if I can't get it for a good price. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be something I do. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. But... I just hate to see this because everybody involved, even the person that started this post, I actually do not know them personally, but I've heard from several people. They're fantastic. I'm just watching two people that I know in the community. Both of them have done solid things, arguing about something that is not their fault. It's the Japanese market and specific Japanese sellers that are actually doing this stuff. It, it really is. It's not someone, it's, it's not anybody who's collecting these cards and wants to trade them or fund something for another card. That's not who did this, but I completely get where the anger comes from. I'm guilty of it too. I fucking did this shit. I was a mean old person back in 2021. Anybody who was around back then, they, they know. It's just, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. You want to participate in this market, you go for it. I might clown on you a little bit, but I'm not going to say you shouldn't do it or you shouldn't charge cards for what they're worth. But the other person is not wrong. This is 100% hurting the market. And what's going to hurt about it, what's really going to hurt about it for some people, and I feel like some people don't actually take this account, this fast as cards rise up, in value they crash just as hard too and i kind of feel like that's going to hurt the collectors the people that actually want this card in the long run maybe they want to sell that card in the future but they're not going to be able to because this shit's going to crash super hard if i get denger i'm not selling her i'm actually going to put her in my full art trainer binder going to keep her which i think it's a good card but there are some people that aren't going to have that luxury and you're looking at people doing a lot of like dumping right now because this artificial inflation is not going to last english crashed pretty fucking hard there's still some very high value cards but there's also some cards that just went to the ground i mean you can watch danny phantom reviews you can watch him go through all this the charts looking at all the different sets you'll see it just it, it's a real shame i hate seeing community members just fight each other for something that really isn't their fault and ultimately they kind of have the same goal in mind they kind of have the same thing in mind they're both community driven people there, it didn't used to be such a problem to talk about money. It really didn't. Not until we got, we didn't get a fair share at like getting actual product from Japan. These high value cards wouldn't really be such a problem if the product was affordable. Like if it wasn't like 125, 130 dollars a box, if it was closer to 30, 40, 50, then honestly people wouldn't really care as much. Like people would be like, oh cool, I get to open four boxes and maybe I get this high value card. The problem is, is the average Japanese collector has been priced out of getting product at a fair price, and they don't even get a fair shot at getting the cards they want, or a high-value card for that matter. Because if you don't pull Dendra, and you pull something like a full art that's worth like five or six bucks, I mean, look at that huge difference in card value for a modern set. You can get an $800 card, or you can get a $5 secret rare in Japanese. And I think that's just, that's such a crazy gamble. And that is gambling. That's a huge gamble if you decide to buy this box at those prices. And honestly, it's it's kind of toxic. It's not really good for anybody. It's not good for this community. And I think if people sat down and actually looked at what this person was trying to move the card for, people would feel a little less bad about it because, hey, maybe I'm going to get a box from the actual lottery. Maybe I'll get a lottery box of Triple Beat. Maybe I'll pull Dendra. Hey, was I a bad person for getting said card? No. Is someone a bad person if they get a lottery box Dendra and they pull it 
and then they don't want it because they wanted some of the SARs and they move it to actually get those SARs. Are they a bad person? No. It it's a it's an unfortunate situation where both sides are generally correct in this matter. I don't really know how they're going to feel about me talking about this. Once again, if they want to identify themselves, I did not unfollow anybody. I have no hard feelings against any of you. Just as someone who's been mad at people about cards before, it just ain't worth it, man. I'm just going to throw that at you right now. You want to be mad at somebody, get mad at the people setting these prices of the product. It wouldn't be such a big deal if everybody could get a fair crack at the $600 cards. That's all I got. Appreciate y'all. See you later, virgins. Just wanted to weigh in on this topic. Don't. It's a real shame. Good community members fighting each other.